our research focus on finding antibiotic alternatives through the nutritional intervention to address the problem related to the antitoxigenic E. coli. We are studying the effect of monoglyceride as promising additive to replace the conventional pra practices such as antibiotics or zinc oxide. And we weigh the feed to tracking the feed intake. Yeah, in this study, we're using uh, 24 pigs, 21 days old after farrowing. We use a phase one diet. So in the phase one diet, uh, other than the corn soybean meal, we add a uh, whey powder and oil also, and other small ingredients to meet the, their nutrition and energy requirements. We are exploring dietary factors on growth performance, disease resistance, and gut health of the young pigs. So in this animal trier, we add additive into the water. So that's why we installed the separate water system in each pan. And it will help us to get a more accurate data and research. We collect the fecal swab from the each pigs. We collect the fecal swab to estimate the ratio of the hemolytic bacteria. Through this, we can determine if the pigs are free from the E. coli F18. This data also used for if the pigs are correctly inoculated. Yeah, we have a 24 pigs in this study and each plate represents each pig. Yeah, after 24 hours incubation, on the left side we have a pre-inoculation and on the right side plate is after inoculation. So all the plate from the same pig so we can check if the inoculation process is successful or not. As you can see, they have a yellow legion and there has a transparent zone, so we can estimate the beta hemolytic coliform ratio here. So if you compare with the pre-inoculation, you can see the clear difference between the pre-inoculation and after inoculation plate. The beta hemolytic coliform ratio will decrease as peak recovery. We believe our research will fit a knowledge gap in the swine nutrition, providing a better and safer animal product to people. Through this, we aim to provide valuable insight into the ongoing effort to find sustainable and effective solution in the swine industry.